welcome to Green Acres. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below. Today I'm going to be going through changing the transmission fluid on my John Deere 1025R. Uh, this is the 2018 version. So I'm going to do the, the front axle and also the main uh, transmission fluid. So I'm going to walk through the steps on that. Uh, I'll kind of show you where the, each uh, drain is and where we're going to be re refilling things. And uh, so here we go. So to start off, we're going to do the main transmission fluid. And so the what we're looking at here is this bolt underneath, or nut underneath the back right tire if you're sitting on the tractor. So that's going to be our drain plug. This over here. This is what we're going to remove to take out the magnetic screen that's on the underneath the back left tire. So we're going to have to remove that after we do all the draining and replace the filter and whatnot. And right here, we're right near the mid PTO underneath, and this is the filter right here that we're going to be removing. Looks like it's coming out pretty clear. Dang it, I knew that was gonna happen, but I was messing around with other stuff. Shoot. That's going to be a mess. Here's what came out of the tractor. If you can kind of see in the light. Generally, it's pretty clear looking. Just show you the... But for 138 hours on this tractor, I mean, it's... Definitely got a little color to it, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Getting ready to put the new filter back on I'm gonna put a little new stuff around the edge here and then it had suggested to fill it up a little bit so I'll put a little back back in Next snafu here, trying to get out the magnetic filter. I kind of stripped this little bolt that holds it in, so I had to manufacture a little something to get it out, but not good, so we'll see 
how that turns out when I have to put it back in shortly here. see all this stuff on it here huh it did come out without the tire coming off but it was a little challenging and also the the screen actually didn't come out when I pulled off the end cap so I had to pull that off on its own so all right so now I guess we'll clean off this thing the magnets, the magnets are inside. So here we go, we'll clean off everything here. I do have a magnetic tool also that I'm gonna stick in here. to come out. Quite a bit of junk on here and on the outside of this so I guess I'm glad I did this so quite a bit better than to start off with so I'll just stick that in there I guess and reassemble All right, time to do the front axle here.
So here's the front axle fluid. Stuff actually looks pretty bad. So again, 138 hours. The transmission fluid didn't look nearly this bad at all. So this is pretty dark stuff here. guys thanks for watching got the transmission fluid and the front axle fluid all changed hopefully you learned a few things from me that you can avoid number one make sure that your oil pan is big enough to drain all the, the fluid so you don't make a huge mess like me number two make sure you don't strip out the, the filter the, the metal filter that's under the back left tire that got a little dicey but it seemed like it worked okay um, and then also make sure you unscrew your little air vents when you're filling up the front axle because otherwise it doesn't fill. Thought I could avoid that, but no such luck. I'll be checking for leaks uh, in the next few days to make sure. I'm a little concerned uh, where the, the filter is under the back left tire, the, the little rubber hose there. I'm a little concerned. I feel like there might be a drop or two coming out already. So. We'll have to see what happens there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to Green Acres. And give me a thumbs up if you liked what, I, what you saw here. And make sure and check out my other videos uh, that I'll be doing on a number of different things, but quite a few things regarding my uh, John Deere 1025R. So thanks again for watching, and, and see you next time.